And welcome back. It is that time again, folks. Time for you to sit back and relax and let us show you the best of the best from the week that was. The first round of the playoffs are now in the books. It was a cold and blustery night around the state, but that didn't stop our athletes from putting together some red hot plays. Let's go and check out our top five plays of the week, all made by local athletes. Play number five tonight. Centennial may have been upset in what was a wild game against Urbandale, but what a year and what an athlete Avery Gates is. Takes this pass and turns up field, just stays on his feet near the end and dives for the goal line. A 56-yard touchdown. Take another look at that first juke. That's going to set up that entire play. Very nice player in Avery Gates indeed. Play number four, we go down near the border. Lamoni taking on Cam. Steven Ansong displaying his complete focus of the football. Nice recovery and catch. There's nothing I love more than these bang-bang plays. Ball is tipped up by Cam, but Ansong keeps his eyes on the football and snags that. That led to a touchdown. However, it is Cam moving on. Play number three. The amount of big runs that we've seen from the three-headed monster of Carlisle is shocking. But we haven't really seen one like this before. Take another look after he takes this one to the house. This is Bryce Murray. He looks to be bottled up. We'll, we'll pause it for you there. Somehow stays on his uh, stays on his feet and doesn't go down and escapes harm's way as he turns on the afterburners for the touchdown. You don't get stopped more than that right there, but Murray somehow able to turn this one in for six. Just a heck, heck of a run. Play number two. All right, we mentioned it earlier. Could Earlham be that team of destiny this year? We'll have to wait and find out. They just keep on taking care of business. Since losing in week one, they have since stopped the stomp the rest of their competition. And man, can they run the football. Alex Kasky breaks off a huge run here thanks to some shifty moves. All right, get this. The Cardinals have ran for more than 4,000 yards this season. That is the most out of any team in the entire state across all classes. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what they can do. Finally, play number one in our local five, top five plays of the week. Jackson Daly pegs Fred Johnson in the back of the corner for the touchdown. We got to tip our caps, though, to Johnson for going up and making this play with Will Cornwell all over him. Take another look at that. The Rams season does come to an end, though. Ankeny won this game 24 to 14, but a great play indeed. And what a way to go out your senior year to uh, get our top spot.